When it comes to your health, you are your best advocate. I recently caught up with Dr. Anna Victoria and Wanda Durant. She's the mother of NBA star Kevin Durant. She breaks down what you should do to become the MVP of your eye health, and she shares her story. I've had Graves' disease now for 17 years, and it took three years before I was diagnosed. And during that time, I was experiencing symptoms of bulging, swelling, pain in my right eye. And I was told at the time that it was a part of grave disease. But only recently did I find out that it was uh, um, potentially thyroid eye disease. And so I was experiencing gritty, uh, as I stated, gritty eyes, pain, pain in my eyes. And I didn't know um, that it was a separate but related condition that needed to be needed to be seen by a thyroid eye specialist. Yeah. So tell us how it's impacted your life. And also if you have any advice for someone else who might be dealing with something like this. Well, the, sim the symptoms of uh, thyroid eye disease has impacted my life because I'm more conscious of my eyes. Um, I'm notice um, if they're gritty, if they're dry, and the pressure behind my eye. And so the advice that I would give anyone who has Graves' disease is to be aware of your eye health. Um, and if you're experiencing um, any symptoms, to reach out to a uh, thyroid eye disease specialist as soon as you can. Um, and not, and I don't I advise them not to wait so they don't have to um, be undiagnosed as I would have been for such a long time. Yeah, three years of not really knowing what was going on. That's no fun at all. I'm glad you're doing all right, though. And what is the one thing that people can do, though, to take back control? The one thing people can do, and I'm going to play on words a bit here, is to be the MVP of their eye health. Um, to be educated, uh, learn about the condition, um, and talk to your doctor about it. Um, a journal uh, what your experiences are with your eyes. And once you talk to your doctor um, uh, to seek out a TED eye specialist, and if you're not getting the answers that you believe you uh, should, should get or feel you should get, um, you seek out a second opinion. Um, because and, and and I don't want them to go through the things that I've gone through. And and it's been quite a long time with me experiencing these uh, symptoms. And now that I know that I can go to a specialist to be uh, to have my eyes assessed, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Wonderful. OK, well, Dr. Victoria, let's go over to you. What exactly is thyroid eye disease? And can you kind of touch more on what the symptoms are and who's most likely to develop this condition? Sure. So thyroid eye disease, also known as TED, it's a rare autoimmune condition that causes the muscles and the fat tissues around the eye, either one or both, to become inflamed or swollen. And, you know, women are more, uh, at like fivefold uh, higher risk than men to develop thyroid eye disease, although men can develop a more severe condition. And it's usually seen in Graves disease patients, up to 50% of Graves disease patients can develop thyroid eye disease. And Graves disease is uh, the most common form of hyperthyroidism. However, other patients with thyroid conditions can also develop it. And although it's associated with thyroid conditions, it's a very separate entity. And so it's treated in a separate way. And so what patients can experience or uh, symptoms they can feel are grittiness, dryness, something like pain or bulging pressure in the eye, like Wanda was saying, and something as debilitating as double vision or even loss of vision. And so it's important that if you're experiencing any of the symptoms to seek out the correct help, especially if you're a higher risk, which is, again, women, smokers have a more severe um, condition of thyroid eye disease if they smoke. Um, so just seek out a uh, thyroid eye disease specialist. So how is it diagnosed then? So it is kind of a very difficult disease to diagnose if you're not thinking about it. Um, and so it's important to seek out help from a thyroid eye disease specialist to really hone down if you have thyroid eye disease. So seek out a neuroophthalmologist or an oculoplastic surgeon who are going to be the most common thyroid eye disease specialists. Okay, well, where can we go for more information or uh, for some resources on all of this? Well, we encourage your patients to advocate for their own health. If you start having issues with your eyes, go to focusonted.com to learn more about thyroid eye disease and also to find a specialist near you. Wonderful. Well, thank you both for joining me today to tell us about it. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us.
course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.org.